In this video, I'm going to be explaining and showing everything you need to know about manure for cows in Farming Simulator 22. Let's get into it. All right, next thing we're going to do is look at how to get manure out of your cow barns. So one thing I will mention quickly is the cow pasture does not produce manure, okay? Only the cow barns produce manure because there is no input for straw uh, at the cow pasture. So as you can see, cow pasture, there's no provision for straw, whereas the cow barns have a provision for straw. So straw is another input. So let's go throw some straw into the barn and then we'll come back in and we'll place the manure heap. So basically I've got a trailer of straw here, so it can be loose straw, straw bales, doesn't matter. It'll all go in the same way. So I'll demonstrate straw bale next. So make sure you've got a trailer that is gonna fit into the working area. So we'll throw a bit of straw in there, all good. Right, so we've just got a telehandler here. So we're gonna grab a straw bale from the shop. So let's grab one of those. So we come into objects, bales, let's grab, a, let's grab a small one, I suppose it doesn't really matter, grab one of these. So we'll pick this up, now basically what you would do is you'd have these stockpiled on your farm, so you'd, you'd potentially have a baler, or you'd use a forage wagon. So you can see we've got the straw bale here at the cow pasture, but nothing's happening, so it won't take the straw at all, okay, so just something to point out. Um, the straw bale also won't be received into the cow barn, so it's got to be loose. So what we need to do is, if, we've, if you're going to use straw bales, you're going to need a straw blower. So basically what will happen is if we come in here, get to this point here, basically what should happen is it should start consuming that bale. Okay, so we just double check our animal menu. You can see this, the straw is not being consumed, so what we need is a straw blower. So to get one of those... All right, so if, we want to, if you want to get a straw, a straw blower, you basically come into Animals, Under Tools section, you've got the Anderson, which is here, which will take a round baler, round bale normally, or you can go this guy, which is better suited for square bales. So we're just going to go grab this. All right, so we've got a straw baler, straw blower. Keep calling it a straw baler, but it's a straw blower. So what it's basically designed to do is take bales of straw and turn them into loose straw. Okay, so we can hook that up like that. We've got our telehandler with a bale on it. All right, so we've got our straw blower. Okay, so you can see that there. What we need to do is we need to, so we've got a little, so we've got a little tailgate on the end here. So normally it comes in closed. So we, if we open that up, okay, that gives us easy access to put a bale in. Okay, so we've got our 9,000 litre square bale from before. So what we should be able to do here is load this guy up. Pop that in there. Okay, let's get this guy closed. Alright, so we've got our straw bale loaded, ready to be turned into loose material. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to drive on through. So you can know, actually, I'll put, just point out quickly. It's got a blower spout on this side. Okay, so we want to try and blow, blow the straw into the where the animals are. So what we would do here so we drive in on this side of the barn and then once we drive in we'll get the start blowing straw trigger and then we can just sit here and that'll blow straw and if we go to our menu we can see that our straw is now increasing so 7516 litres 8000 so I'm pretty sure that's a 9000 litre bale maybe it was more so even though the bale's not moving it's still being consumed by the straw blower okay once completed Straw's all gone. We've now got straw in, into the, the barn. So we can just drive on out. Um, the other option is to put in the loose straw. So we've just got a trailer full of loose straw here. So this, the benefit of this is we don't need to bale it. However, you'll need a hay loft or something similar to store the straw loosely. So if we just drive on in, that'll drop off straw. It just depends. So it's basically much of a muchness. It just depends on how you store your straw. Uh, but if you're going to go with the bales, you are going to need to use the straw baler. If you do it loosely, you can basically use any trailer that will hold straw. So it just depends on how you want to go about that. All right, so that's how we get straw in. Let's move on. All right, so our straw is maxed out. We've got 38,000 litres. Now we need a place for the manure to spawn, okay? So straw basically equals manure. So if we come into the build mode, into buildings we're going to find silos and we want the manure heap okay so basically what you need to do is place this somewhere near your farm or actually sort of near the barn so we just want to get it in 
in a position where, so around here looks all right. Around here would probably be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go, see what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out the back here just to make it nice and easy. Now you will see some other tutorials when the game was first launched that there was a bug with the manure heap and you had to use the manure heap extension. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this has been rectified for cows. It has been for pigs. So let's place the manure heap down and basically what should happen now is when we sleep the manure will appear in here and then we have an easy loading point for the manure just there so let's go ahead and sleep and see what happens all right so we've slept for one day and you can see we've got manure to spawn in our manure heap so you can see that there um, and that is now coming out of that barn all right because these two pastures don't produce anything and it's too far away from this one to produce manure so that is basically how you get manure uh, in the manure heap. Now you do have the manure heap extension which is in silo silo extensions. Uh, that one will give you a further 4 million litres on top of I think the silo is 4 million itself actually. Let's just double check that. Yeah so it's very huge. I mean you're not going to run out of room with that anytime soon. So let's go and have a let's get some more manure in here for a couple of days and then we'll come back in and we will show you how to retrieve it and then what you can do with it. All right, now we've got some manure. What, do, what can we do with it? So we've gone and purchased a manure spreader. So if you don't know what a manure spreader is, so we come into vehicle tools, manure spreaders, and these are, there's an assortment of spreaders here. So basically what this does is it allows you to get, get a, use the manure as a fertilizer for your fields. Okay, so let's go and grab some manure. Basically just drive up to this filling point here, hit L3, and you can see our site, a manure heap is going down and we've got manure on board in our trailer, okay? Now let's go find a field to fertilize. All right, so we've got a field here. It's already been fertilized, but we're just going to go through the motions anyway, because basically what you can do is come on, come on down, unfold your manure spreader, turn your manure spreader on, and then you basically just drive over your field. Now it's got a pretty small working width. All right, so if I just turn that off quickly, but it's also got activate double application rate. So we can get two lots of fertilizer down for one. So if I turn that back on, we're now getting double the fertilizer put down, which further is further economical for your spreader. Now, the reason why you'd want to do this is A, you want to take advantage of the manure that you've got for free. You can also sell it at the BGA, and depending on the map you're on, you can sell this at other sell points. So if we have a look at that quickly, I'll just turn this off. In the prices menu, you can see here we've got manure. So the, buy, the BGA is buying it for $106, but you have to own the BGA to sell it there. And the BGA on Elm Creek, I believe, is over here. So you've got to own the land that it's on. So if we go over to the... So it's 1.5 million to buy, okay? So probably not feasible for everybody, but that's how you would sell it at the BGA. But other than that, free, free fertilizer as a byproduct of having cows. So pretty cool. And that is that. All right, let's move on. So there you have it, guys. My guide on how to get manure for cows in Farming Simulator 22. If you've got any questions... Leave them below in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.